Okay, this is going to be another quick video on Logic Pro. This is the HyperDraw function. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Um, what I did was I already just put a little snare uh, pattern together. Um, so it's just a uh, snare that rolls. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in um, the volume. So that's the snare loop that I have. And it's just a straight snare as you can hear. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, draw in the volume for that. So what I'm going to do first is, this is the bar, let's just say you created this, this drum track right here. And um, what you want to do is now control the volume for it. So all I'm going to do, it's real easy, double click, then, um, let me move this over here so you guys can see it, okay. Just go to view and then select the, um, the hyper draw, which will pop open once you select view and go all the way down to the bottom, hyper draw, and then another menu pops up on the side, and then select, select the volume. So once you get the volume in as your selection, uh, let's see here, volume, you get this bar that opens up across the bottom of the screen, this big blue bar. Okay, so uh, now what I want to do is I want to draw in my control for the volume. So all I'm going to do is select my pencil tool, and then I'm going to drag it up like this. So I just drew in the volume control right there. Now it doesn't sound the way how I want it to sound, so I'm going to fix that. And you can, you can drag these any way you want to fix Okay, so all I'm doing is taking my pencil and drawing, and it'll reset the lines until you get it the way how you want it to sound. So this could be like for a fade in, or you know, like when you want your a build up in your song, and you want the drums to really kind of kick in and give a, more feeling to your song. You can just draw in the um, draw in the volume, and you can see the volume over here is is going up and down all by itself. It's looping, so it's kind of automated, you could say. For the most part. And you can do this with any kind of drum sound, any string sound, any pr pretty much any sound that you're using you can control um, using using this hyper draw. So um, I hope you found that helpful. So thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe.